What else is Guns and Hauser watches? And this is the Seabird Design Benchmade. And everybody knows by now. If you watch watching this video, you probably watched the other one and realize how worthless I think the design of this sheath is. Well, let's do a failure analysis on it. This is after I worked on it for hours and got it to where at least the knife will fit in the sheath. Then I'm going to show you how it's manufactured incorrectly, how the design sucks, and basically what I did to fix it if you call what I've got fixing it. Because what I've got is shit. And it's improper execution, improper design, sorry, improper design, improper execution, the whole thing, it is screwed up bad. And where did I go wrong with this knife? I went wrong with this knife the way so many people go out and do things. My truck is the truck of the year, except I have a GMC. The Chevrolet, whatever the hell they call that thing. I've got the GMC Canyon, same truck. That would be the truck I would stay the fuck away from this year. Because if it's a new design, or it's a new anything, I'll give you another example. Z zero tolerance, folks. This is a Gen 3 550. I wouldn't buy a Gen 2, Gen 1, Gen 1 and a half, Gen 2, whatever. I don't give a shit. Okay? And I've got tons and tons and tons of examples of things like that. Here's a Gale Bradley. This is the Gale Bradley that has lightning holes in it. Let's see if I can get it to damn. Anyway, it's got skeletonization. Here's the Gen 1 Gale Bradley. Has none. I think this Gen 1 is basically a piece of shit. There's only half an ounce difference. But that half ounce matters. And I can go on and go on. These these bench made or these uh, Buck Vantage Pros. The first ones were designed so incorrectly to even make them almost unusable. And I had to take two knives and make one out of them. Because it was easier that than dealing with Buck. And then sending me back something and this there or the other and saying it's fixed or it's right or this there or the other and it just go break again. And as I said, I can go on and on and on about it. And what did I do? I didn't follow my own rule of not buying a new design. Because it's emblematic of the problems of our civilization, our society. That we don't are under so much stress as companies, as people, as this, that, or the other. That we don't have pay attention to detail. I don't know if it's a generation thing. I don't know if it's because of since the shit that happened in 2007. I don't know if it happened in 9-11. I don't know what's going on. But I know that the manufacturing in this country that's still going on, most of it, you know, I listen to these people sit here and say, you know, the Gale Bradleys, okay, are so well built, you know, this, there, or the other, and you can't, and they're better designed than what, and better manufactured than what we could do in this country. Seriously, made in Taiwan is better than what we can do here awesome for any for the amount of money this that or the other listen folks we used to be able to produce the very best the fact that another country at any price is producing the very best is scary but you know it's just the way it is now Let's go into the problems with this sheath. Because this sheath has a few. One, I had to crank up the oven. Heat this, take it apart, crank up the oven, and basically reform the mouth of this thing. If we can see now, the knife goes in there all the way, and there's retention. Okay? 
Now, the only problem is... Okay. This is Kydex, right? The belt loop I still haven't fixed. Because I'm not going to fix it. I'm sending this thing back to Benchmade. Because there's so many there's so many errors in this sheath that it's not even funny. If you're a major corporation and you have the money for research and development and you have the manufacturing capabilities, then my advice is use them. I have a glaring question though that keeps coming out in my head. Why was an explosives ordnance disposal team have used such a fucking short thick knife? All the ones that I've seen are long and thin. You know, I'm not trying to be a just a total douche, but goddamn, folks. See all this Kydex that's coming off on this knife? Just be aware that that's, that's what you're getting into with this fucking crappy-ass manufacturing. Because they're trying to overpower the situation and give a nice small lock in this that or the other and make it to where it can grab up here on this screw and trying to make it smaller lighter this that or the other but let me tell you something it doesn't work and you know where it won't work it won't work over time because the locking mechanism is so small, it's so stressed to the max, that over time, it's going to be what gives up and this sheath will fail. Even if they did a perfect manufacturing job, your failure points on this, this actual design are so small... Because we're basically, let's see where it's grabbing now. It's grabbing just a little bit right here. It's grabbing right around these screws. Because how do we tell that? That's where the marks are. And of course we've got a little bit of, I may have tightened it up a little bit too much there. But this was actually me loosening it up. Just so I could get the damn knife in. Okay? So, we've got... It being held by tension right here through this screw. And does this screw and this screw, does there something look wrong there? Well, this screw is a little too close to the blade. A An easy representation of that is even this back, this sticks out farther than this. So even if you didn't have more of a gap there, you got it cocked, okay? So that's that's a problem. But I guess maybe they're trying to do that to try and increase the tension. Because when you have just that small amount of kydex right there grabbing that, and you have just that small amount of tension, that little bit right there, that's going to be the first thing that rounds out, and that's going to be the first part that this, this sheath is going to fail there. Another weird thing about this design is the tip of that blade is, is extremely, extremely close to that. Okay. I don't know if they meant to do it that way. I don't know if the knife was supposed to be rotated. I don't exactly know what in the hell is going on. But I know that's a, a point of, of tension there. Why do I snow that? Because it keeps getting, black keeps rubbing off. Okay, so we've got the tension thing taken care of. We understand that it wasn't implemented correctly. We understand that there are flaws in the design because this thing is trying to be too high speed, low drag, and trying to do cutesy things with very small amounts of material. And that was why, if you took that, take the design back here, you pinch it to get, you pinch it together, and you have a big mechanical lock. Yeah, eventually it'll wear out. Just like all things wear out. But if you have some understanding of design, you can actually make a tensioner there. You can do different things. You can actually get really creative. Here's another thing. Explosives ordinance de demolition. I keep wanting to say disposal because I am so pissed off from this last video. If they deal in stuff like mines, they deal with that kind of stuff. They deal with, you know, everything. Okay? 
they get shit on their knives. And I know this may, thing's made out of S30V, you don't have to worry about it. But where the hell is it going to get out of the sheath? I mean, is there supposed to be a drain hole somewhere? I mean, just in theory? Is it, you know, is the, the knife just has to be totally, perfectly clean to go in this sheath? There's no drain hole for any debris to come out. There's no drain hole for water. There's no drain hole for shit. Fuck it. We're not going to put a drain hole in it just because it's an S30V blade and we just don't give a shit. <clears throat> the implementation of this sheath, this whole deal, is about worthless. And if you don't use your gear on a daily basis and understand that that belt loop basically is junk, okay? Because it's going to stick really far out, this, there, or the other. And that's cool in some situations. In a duty holster, you want your belt out. In competition holster, you want your gun out. Sorry. In this, I don't think I want it that way. You know, this is typical Gen 1 bullshit, and we are going to get someone to fund our R&D, even though we're a major corporation, because most people are not objective enough about designs and want to pat themselves on the back about the money that they spent and want to become fanboys of a product instead of actually evaluating it and giving it a true representation of what you actually have. This thing is not implemented correctly. You want to buy the knife? Fine. You want to buy the knife probably in the leather sheath? Fine. You want to buy this knife? Fine. But this is literally a piece of shit. And the more I look at it, the more I understand that the design is trying to be cutesy and sexy and cannot accomplish that, especially over time, because this is supposed to be a hard-use knife. It has no drain holes. The, the holes here are in the wrong spots. Unless somebody on a, on a CAD, because I'm sure this stuff was cut out by a computer... Unless the, you know, the computer was off. I mean, I can keep railing and wailing and wailing on this sheath. Instead, I'm going to say, peace out, and there's no fucking way. This is Guns, Knives, and Watches. This is what's the matter with our civilization. This is what's the matter with our society. We are under so much fucking stress as a civilization and a society that we are pumping out crap. And we have people that will buy crap because they have no experience, no understanding, no basic concept of design and execution. Because their concept of something is what they watch on television or what they watch on YouTube. And they have no real world ability to understand what the design concept is. This is Guns, Knives, and Watches. Peace out.